Hey y'all, what the f is T, my lovely people? Yes, this is a Skype call, but it's also Reactness. Yes, welcome to December, but also welcome to the month where you'll be seeing my face for the next 25 days. <laughs> yes, I will be pumping through with the content all, well, up until Christmas. <laughs> so sit back, relax. We got a lot to talk about this month, okay? I haven't done Reactness in literally, I think maybe two years. I think I did it in 2017 is when I introduced it. Maybe 2016, actually, I could be lying. I think I was in college when I first, first did it. And now uh, I took like a I took like a break off doing it because I was just my only self doing it. It was, I was, it was me, myself, and I, that's all I got. In the end is what I found out. But now I have a wonderful team to help me finish these videos and edit them so we can pump them out just for you and my Patreon family. But I am so excited to be back in full force, honey. We're gonna have us a good old react miss this year. We got a lot to cover. All right, here we go. If you're not following me on Instagram and on Twitter or on Patreon, I asked all of you uh, to give me suggestions of what we should react to and or Skype call about this, this month. And you did not hold back. But I still want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to react to and Skype call this month. The doors of the church are open, so let it all out. But today we're talking about Nicki Minaj. Now, obviously, we started off this with Nicki Minaj. You know, Nicki, Nick, Nick, I miss you, queen. I miss you, Queen. I miss you so much. I did a Grammy prediction um, Skype call, which will be out later this month also, or maybe this week, actually. I was talking about how Nikki, I know Nikki is at home pissed about the Grammys. And we'll talk to, we talked about it in another Skype call, but today, something came across my desk that I have to kind of address. And this Skype call may not be that long because it's almost like fundamentally common sense that y'all got my girl effed up. Y'all got her, y'all got her twisted. Okay, so people are saying that Nicki Minaj has ghostwriters. I don't even think, and, and now let me say something. Nicki Minaj and the term ghostwriters don't even go in the same sentence. And I'm not saying that because I love her, I, I, I am a barb. But I'm saying that because, like, are we for real? <laughs> now, I think we're in a, I know we're in an age of, you know, you know, female hip hop and just and male hip hop too, just hip hop in general, where people are not writing their rhymes anymore. But I think that something happened with Lotto. Once again, Nikki and Lotto's whole situation. Here we go again. Okay, here we go one more time. Now, Lotto, you know I love you, girl. I love you down. But to say, you know, to almost insinuate, because Lotto had made a tweet when they were having a little spiff. Uh, Nikki and Lotto, and a couple weeks ago, had made a tweet, you know, alluding to, you know, you know, Lotto said, I've been writing, you know, my rhymes since I was 16, girl, or 14, since she was younger, and you can see her on national television doing so, which she is not lying. My girl was on national television on a reality TV show uh, to be signed, I think, to Jermaine Dupree, I think, or somebody, and she was writing her rhymes, girl, but almost kind of alluding to the fact that, you know, Nikki gets help and they all work with the same writers, which she is not lying, <laughs> no shade. So I wanna back up, I wanna back up, I wanna back up, I wanna back up, I wanna back up. So for me personally, right, I love collaborating with other writers. I only have one, one song out, but the songs that I have coming out next year, uh, in my EP coming out next year, I work with writers all the time. I love writing music. I actually did not even know I was a good writer until I wrote this EP and uh, away from you, you know, I wrote the chorus and the verses and I had help though, because I, I want to make the song the best it can be. And I'm just a big, big, big believer in collaboration. I always think that it's almost best to collaborate than try to be a one man show. I'm not the person that needs all the praise for something great. If I can even have my good Judy's, my good friends come in, which is what I did for Away From You, come in and help me write, oh girl, yes. Girl, let my friends get some shine. Let my friends, let you better get into my girls. It's not uncommon to have people write for you in this industry, like at all. But also, in pop music, it's a little different. You know, pop music, you have producers that will have a record that's already completely written, completely done, ready to go. But you'll also have uh, producers that will you know, write a song just for a specific artist. And then if they don't, if the artist don't want it, then they'll give it to another artist. And then that artist will come in and tweak it, fix it for what they like. And everybody does this up from Beyonce on down. Like everybody does this, this is nothing new. But for rappers and specifically female rappers, it's a little taboo to say that you have help or writers. And I hate that because 
I would want some writers if I was a female rapper. And if I had to be completely honest, you know, the girls that are out here like, oh my God, I write all my raps and y'all can't tell me nothing. Y you need some help. Yeah, that's why it's not selling. No shade. And I'm sure Nikki in the very, very, very beginning, you know, I know she has Safari and stuff like that, but I know Nikki was like straight, I'll write all my stuff and y'all can, you know, I don't need no help. But as time goes on, and if you've been running this game like Nikki for 14 years, honey, you've got to get, get some help from somebody. And I feel like I, actually one of the critiques I was saying to Nikki during the Queen era was, I think that Nikki should have had writers during the Queen era. I just feel like, and not to write her verses because, that's where the tricky, the, the fine line of buffoonery comes into play. Okay, because let me tell you something. You can have, you know, somebody help you do a hook, you know, or a little bridge, or a little, you know, but your verses, mama, you should write your own verses because at the end of the day, you are an MC. The history of hip hop is to express how you're feeling in a, in a rhythmic format, right? That's hip hop. Like, you're supposed to you know, deliver a message and metaphors and figure out a way to say things very, very, you know, sarcastically, or you want to be able to say what you want to say in a creative way. And so that's what hip hop is. So the verses are supposed to be from the MC because at that point, the one is the point of calling you a rapper. And now I know when Lotto had this big leak, Lotto had a mass, mass leak. Let me catch you up with what's happening. Why are we even talking about this, right? Lotto had a very mass leak I don't know if they cracked it to her iCloud. I don't know if, pff, I almost accused the barbs, but I'm gonna have to say it. You know, the barbs are crafty. You know, you know, you know they not, you know, what's that, what's that place? What's that, uh, Norton, Norton, the, the, the virus protection, Norton and McAfee. You know, the barbs know how to get through all of that. <laughs> no shade, but all tea. The barbs are hacky. The girl, you know, you got your cyber barbs, what I call them. Dumb bitches know how to break through fire codes. Bitch, I change my passwords every week because of them bitches. I just don't trust them, okay? And when the leaks happen, I can't hold you. I'm not accusing the barbs. But I got my eyes on you, barbs. I said, them bitches leaked her phone. <laughs> the, the, bitches, the bitches is late. The bitches is late. And they went and hacked my girl Lotto's phone, girl. Some way, somehow. Or somebody in the camp. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, people are, people, let me say something. Management, management's messy. Management's are messy. Oh, they will be like, girl, we need to get you some buzz going on, girl. I like that, you know, no. What y'all talking about? Girl, somebody in the management team could have been like, Lotto, honey, I like that mess you got in with Miss Nikki. I like that, we need to capitalize off that. Let's try that one more time, see what happens. Mm -hmm. And so I would not be surprised if somebody in Lotto's team leaked her stuff. Because these are probably songs they're probably never going to make in the first place. Like Blick Blick and um, what other song did she have? My brain just went completely blank, but it was another song that Nicki did or was going to do and Lotto passed on it or wrote a verse to it and it didn't work. But also in this leak, Big Energy was there too. So people were trying to say like, well, because, only because, during the Blick Blick uh, uh, verse that Lotto did, she did the same cadence as Nikki with the holla, 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 comma, 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 that little thing. You know the part when Nikki does holla, 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 all my commas, 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 that part. Lotto, Lotto also did the same thing in her version. So the girls, and I'm assuming Lotto fans, uh, went out and tried to say that Nikki stole from Lotto and Lotto wrote Nikki's verse for a blick blick for Corley Ray. And I said, okay, everybody need to calm down. Everybody need to stop. Everybody need to sit down because now we're talking blasphemy, okay? Like, that's one thing we can say about my girl. She can be mean. She can be shysty. She can be rude. You know, she's a little pointed and petty. I mean, her last name's Petty, you know? Onika Minaj, you know, Onika Mirage, Tanya Petty. Onika Tanya Mirage, Petty. You know, she's Petty. Miss Girl is tired. However, comma, we cannot sit up here and say that she said, you know, I like what Lotto did right there. I'm gonna steal that. Now. <laughs> now, you know, Nikki could have been playing off of Corley Ray, because Corley Ray also did that same kind of cadence. So maybe Nikki was like, oh, I'm gonna do that. But I, I but I, you know, as much as I say that's blasphemy, when you hear a reference track, it's called a reference track for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, speaking from my 
experience right making music. I don't really I have reference tracks, but they're really just for me and my friends. Like we probably recorded it on the on a MacBook, and I was there, and we you know it, that's what it was. But sometimes when producers have a track that they maybe wrote a hook to already. Um, they will have the reference track. So whatever artist that didn't t pick it up before, the next artist that does get it has a reference of how the song could be delivered. Now they can scratch the reference completely and make their own thing from scratch, but who has time for all that when it's already, if it's already sounds good and it's like, oh, this is amazing, I like that. I like that little sugar, let me take that and make my own little twist to it. I think this is a really good market employee, No Shade, for Lotto and her team to kind of boost up her thing. And that, 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 that beef with Nicki kind of got her name rolling through the, through the circulation, honey, and it's not the wrong. You know, some people believe good press, all press is, is good press in some in some sense. So Nikki probably uses the same writers that write hooks that Lotto does. Other girls do. Some males do. It's so common for that. But Nikki has to still come in as an artist, and not just Nikki. Lotto too. Every other female hip hop artist. They will work with these writers, but they, as an artist, this is when your integrity as an artist come in. You have to be able to go into the studio and still put your own flavor and funk on it, honey. No shade. Because the girls can hear past, like, oh, that's not like X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that there's nothing wrong for female hip hop artists to have help in writing hooks and writing catchy things because your verses could be fire, but now your hooks sound like, what is this? Girl, you may not be good at that. And that's fine to get that help. And I think that this was just a misunderstanding in the sense of Nikki can have writers, honey. Mm -hmm. And Nikki even said on her BMA speech, thank you to my writers. She's not talking about the people that write her verse. She's talking about the people that help her write her hooks or maybe give her melody ideas um, to get those verses going in her mind. They'll call, they're called collaborators for a reason. You know what I mean? This this industry, you're nothing without your collaborators. No shade. And I even want to piggyback this off how people be trying to go off on Beyonce for like, why you got why is 27 people writing just this one song? Let me tell you something. This is so real. Whoever in that room while you're recording music, whoever in that studio while you're recording that track, and if they say I chew, that should go on the track. I like that. They get a writing credit. At least they should. Now, some people be in the industry that's tired. Some people in the industry are very shady, very shysty. Don't want to give the girls the credit. No shade. I ain't calling out nobody in particular. I'm just saying. Hey. hey. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I'm not being shady, girl. I'm just saying. The girls be liking to, oh, you didn't say nothing. Yes, I did, bitch. I wrote something. When people are in the studio and they... Uh, give just a little bit of inkling of like maybe change this word here, flip this like that, or even uh, sing this up there. Like, you get a credit. That's a writer. You are a songwriter. You are contributing to the project. And that's just what it is. So I hate when people say, Beyonce need all these writers. I mean, and? <laughs> so what? You're nothing without your collaborators. You should want to have different ideas. Because at the end of the day, you are just the artist. You can't be, well you can be, but sometimes it shows when people don't have anybody else writing for them or helping them write. It shows. It sounds repetitive. Like, it's, it's, it's redactive. It's not giving anything. Like, it's, it's, it's not you saying the same shit just in different ways. No shade. So it's good to have those writers to come in and help. You know what I mean? And then you got people with like genius, like, I remember Gaga finally came out and said she, for, um, for, for Chromatica, she didn't want to work with Max Martin for the longest. Now Max Martin is like the god of pop music when it comes to writing pop music. I mean, from everybody from, uh, what is that? Britney Spears, on down, Ariana Grande. That man has written iconic bops, okay? And he knows pop music like nobody else does. And I hope he ain't got no scandals. Max Martin ain't got no scandals, do he? Because I don't want to give him this praise. He ain't got no, he ain't got, he got scandals. Because like, you know, I was going to bring up Dr. Luke, but we won't bring up Dr. Luke because free cash up, okay? And you know, Kim Petras, oh, this is a whole nother, oh, I should make a, I make a Skype call about that. Because I love Kim Petras, but that was late. That was late, Kim. Anyway. <laughs> I just, you know, Gaga didn't want to work with Max Martin for the longest, not because he didn't, she didn't like him, but just because she likes to be in control of her records and she likes to write her feelings and she feels that she has done it. So I can write my own stuff. I don't need, you know, you. <laughs> but she finally let Max Martin come in to write, I uh, think, was it If Not Rain On Me and Stupid Love? And maybe it was some, maybe another track. It may not even be Rain On Me. I think it's Rain On Me, but it may not be Rain On Me. I think, I think that's Blood Pop that did Rain On Me with Gaga. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. But all I'm saying is it's okay to have collaborators. So we're not going to do Nikki has ghost writers. Nikki has writers that you can clearly look up and look at what they did. Okay? Now having a ghost writer, now that's another situation. Right? That's another Skype call, girl. Mm-hmm. Some of these boys and some of these girls are using these ghost writers, girl. Mm-hmm. I met the ghost writers. Ooh, hello. I ain't going to say nothing. No I, ain't gonna, I ain't going to blow nobody's spot, girl. That ain't my job. I ain't blowing nobody's spot. That ain't my thing. That ain't my thing. That ain't my thing. But all in all, good luck to Lotto. Good luck to Nikki. Nikki, you got real quiet when he's grinning. <laughs> you got real quiet, Nikki. I would like for you to come back on out and play. But I think she's going to hiatus. You know, I don't like when Nikki go out and, and cause havoc and go back to her kids. <laughs> her husband. She'll be sitting down. She'll be like, all right, I caused havoc on the internet. Let these bitches got mad. I'm going home. <laughs> Nikki, that's my girl. Yeah, what are we going to do? 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 All right, Tyler's Army, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this topic right here. Isn't that kind of my new? It's kind of my new. Like, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. I honestly feel like people took it out of context and try to make it a thing because Nikki, the Nikki hate train will always be in service like Amtrak, okay? So they want the tickets to the to the hate train. So it was easy for that. That was an easy little pool. I saw what y'all tried to do there. Mm -hmm. And let me know in the comments what you guys want me to talk about and or react to this month. We got a whole month, girl, so get creative, all right? And whoever got the highest thumbs up, will be the next video. All right, Tyler's Army, I will catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Army.